Hello and welcome back for yet another fucking ridiculous gameplay and it's none other than King Callum. From what I've been reading on your comments about my commentaries, it seems to be going down well with all you fan people and I hope you're not just saying it to keep me happy because that will make me upset. After Razor CHR's 178 to 1 on Carrier with a naked AN94, he has found out how much of a Terminator this weapon actually is. He's gone and got blue camo with it, he's got all the attachments with it, but this game is using stock with the C4, Flak Jacket Hardline, Scavenger Toughness, and it's got to be the best third perk, and we all know it, Dexterity, just for that pure jumping climbing on things faster, aiming up faster after sprinting. He goes 96 and 0 this game, so almost 100 plus flawless with about 11,000 score to do that. So that is about 1100 score per minute and that is amazing. That is theoretically 10 to 11 kills per minute, sorry. He's using a stealth VSAT EMP, a very good score streak set up for hardpoint. VSAT and EMP are extremely beneficial for gun skill and improving it, gun kills, and the stealth is just for the campers sat at the back of maps to pick off, putting them back into the action, ready for some razor destruction. Topic today, dashboarding. Dashboarding is... Commonly, commonly, commonly done now by everybody around the game. What it is, is where you either sign out or pull the Ethernet cable out of the back of your Xbox or PS3 or whatever you're playing it on. It freezes the game if you're the host and it counts as a loss. The loss is the only part that bothered it, that bothers it for me. Because I could be on a, uh, right, I was on an 84 win streak on my other account before. I wanted to get that 100 plus win, uh, win streak for hardpoint. I was getting... Uh, pretty confident about it because I was playing with good teams at the time and it was only a 16 more until my 100 plus but the dashboarding host ended the game he's not even a good player we looked at his stats after the game and he had about a 1.2 KD he had like a 0.5 win loss and about 300 score per minute so why are you dashboarding for, for stats because that's the only reason I can think for it you're not dashboarding well, you might be intentionally dashboarding to wind everybody else up, but my th uh, my reason on why I think people dashboard is because they're tryhards and they're stats. I know my last commentary was on about tryhards, but this is the tryhard. It's people that back out for stats, and no one from well, the majority of people from Razor do not back out from stats. Myself, I do not. I've got nearly a 14 win loss. My win loss is my life and joy. That sounds a bit sad. I don't mean my life and joy. I mean my game's most impressive. Um, Stat more than my KD, more than my score per minute. It's always good to have a really high win loss. I don't like losing games. There's no point playing a game if you're not trying to win it. And if you've got over a three, four KD, that's pretty good. Maybe two is okay, but if you've got below like a one, and there's this, there's some people from clans that I see, they're on like an eight KD. When you look at the first bit of the combat record, so you think, oh, okay, maybe maybe this guy's pretty good. Look at his score per minute. He's got six, seven hundred. Yeah, he's he's okay. He's quite a good player. Is he really? Look at his win loss, naught point. And I promise you, this is a score I saw once. Uh, a win loss I saw once, naught point one six. He dashboards so many times his last five uh, games on the combat record were all zero zeros the last five I'd been looking through his player channel and there was probably one in three pages that he stayed for right till the end and I watched that game and of course he got his load star he got like a, a, a 60 to like four and he's not going to back out with that he's going to back out with games that he gets a 5kd because he wants to keep that eight that's that's not good play. That's not a good player. That doesn't make you good. A good player is somebody who's consistent, somebody who wins gunfights pretty often, uh, somebody who knows map knowledge, the general outlook of the game, uh, how you want to play it. You don't want to go rushing through the middle all the time. If you if you want to keep up a high KD, and you uh, you don't want to be killed by stray grenades, stray. Semtexes, get shock charge, Betty comboed, uh, C4s, hunter drones, lightning strikes, all that sort of shit. You want to be sitting on the outskirts of the map. Well, not really. Just play it carefully. You want to run on the outsides of, like, uh, don't run into main vantage points, like the hard point itself, for example, unless you want to get the kill and then jump off and hide behind the building or the um, the area that it's in. The dashboarding, 
I think people said on Black Ops 1 that when you dashboarded on that game and ended the game, that sometime later it would deduct that loss from your combat record. And why can't Treyarch do this for this game? Why could? Why do the players get discriminated against because of dashboarders, dashboarding hosts who fucking just play the game to destroy it for everyone else? They and the people that wind me up, yeah, not necessarily dashboarding, but the people on other teams from you, they um, the game spawns and everything, and. They get one death, one dodgy death at the start of a game, and you'll see at the bottom left hand side, this guy has left the game. Why leave? The, why join a game, start it up, pick your class, run into the middle, and after one death, back up the game? Was you expecting to go flawless? Are you always expecting to go flawless in these games, you idiot? Nobody always goes flawless. That one game out of a couple, you may go flawless if you play it very carefully and. You just play it like this game. If you're watching it still and you're listening to me babbling on, you'll see that he isn't rushing like a fucking lunatic. He's playing it carefully. He wants to get that flawless game. He wants to get the 100 kill death ratio game like before. He wants to... The way I see it, why would you want to ruin the game for everybody else? Unless you're one of the people that doesn't like people doing better than you. Which is probably the majority of the people, actually. They don't like... No, nobody likes to be beat. Nobody likes to be destroyed by other people. And they don't want to lose games. And this is their reason for doing it. They think, oh, we're not going to win the game. And I'm the host. Or somebody from my team in the party is a host. So we're going to uh, we're gonna sign out. We're going to fuck the game up for everybody. So we're not going to win. Neither are they. At least because I've done bad, I'm not going to lose my stats. Uh, I don't care about my win-loss, obviously, because it's 0.0001. They've got a 13 KD. They've got 6, 7 KDs. They're going to lose some of that. They're going to lose the win streak that they've worked on. I feel really strong in anti-dashboarding. I hate people that do it. And some people do it from the clan. And I tell that I, I even tell them, some of my friends dashboard, and I tell them that if they, if they dashboard in a game with me, I'll delete them and I'll never play with them again. I'm so anti-dashboarding. I hate it. It, it doesn't show good skill at all. The main people I play with, they all feel the exact same. They hate dashboarding. It's just a waste of time. I hate it. This is coming to an end of the commentary now, so please drop a comment down below on how you thought the gameplay and the commentary was. Also, feel free to give me positive, negative feedback, because I want to know how you guys find listening to me talk through these mind-blowing games. Like, subscribe, send to your friends, send to your next-door neighbour if you want to. All views are very much appreciated, and we value every and each subscriber. It's Callum, and have a nice day.